So, hey Saints, it's Sister with a Testimony. I'm out here fishing with Jim. And, um, it's just a beautiful, beautiful day. Say hey, Jim! No, say hey! Are you catching anything? You want to change the bait? Well, how many times do you have to change the bait? You say you got to change the bait till you catch something or give up. I was like, oh, yeah. And I was out here with Jim fishing, and this is a beautiful, beautiful, wow, just amazing pond, lake, whatever you want to call it. But, yeah, that's a nice front yard, yeah. That's my new house. Well, maybe not, maybe, maybe that one over there, but anyhow, gorgeous. Isn't that awesome? I know y'all love to fish, don't you? Yeah. And I got my little chair. I've been fishing. I haven't caught anything yet, so Jim come over and he's like, uh, babe, you might want to change your bait. And I was like, oh, yeah, let's check out the bait, saints. And uh, so I was looking at all these different baits, and uh, of course I'm not the fisherman, right? And I, I'm like, hmm, if I look at that and I'm a fish, it's going to kind of be up above me. I mean, for like a, a fish, it would probably look pretty good, but I'm like, hey, it looks like a little sardine, ain't he pretty? And um, I was looking at all these different baits, like these, these two right here are the same, only this one's got some shiny stuff on the end of it cool and um then check this one out it's like this is this is a pretty big one look at look at that it's got some it's got a tail on the end of it, it looks real I'm like wow and uh, then i found these these are called hula poppers yeah, I'm like, I, I guess if you're a fish, it just kind of pops. If you're, you know, if you're a fish, I guess you're looking up at it, I suppose. I don't, I don't know. I've never been a fish, so I don't really know how it would. I guess they're just attracted by the colors and the sounds. Um, oh, yeah, look, check this one out. I don't know. I, that don't look too appetizing to me. I don't know about y'all, but yeah, I guess if you're a big old bass, it might look pretty good to you. Oh, yeah. I, this one looks like a torpedo to me. I was like, oh, yeah. Can you see it? This is pretty cool. It, just, it looks like a torpedo, but look. He's got eyes. He looks like, wow. You know what that's called? What is it called? Uh, a what? A go devil. A go devil? <laughs> How fitting, go devil. Why? I mean, well, you can't read it, but if you look at the bottom, if you were a fish, I it's guess. Got a prop on the front and the back. Uh -huh. and it floats and you pull it to the water. So the fish are it's attracted. The, the fish are attracted to color and. But, man, that's got like three hooks on it. Check it out, saints. Um, and you're probably thinking, well, what's this got to do with the word? Well, come on. You could probably figure that one out. Here's an Excalibur. He's got some fur on his tail. I don't, what do you call this thing on the end? The fur. Pop an image. Oh, it's just to bulk it up some. Okay. So, anyhow, we got all these yeah, little... Right look at how, what? Devil horse. What? Really? See it? It's a devil horse. No, I can't see it, but it's called a devil horse. Yeah, that's what it's called. Well, that's what that means. actually, that's kind of fitting, because if you think about it, um, what does this say? Hedden, Hedden, is that the name? That's a tiny lucky 13. A, luck, a lucky 13? It ain't lucky for the fish. No, it's a little top water <laughs> Okay. Now it's like, it on the bank. check it out. All kind of different baits. <laughs> Uh, top water lures. What else, Jim? These are all top water. It's my top water uh -huh. stuff. Now, what we we're fishing with today is what a worm. Plastics, yeah. Plastic. Why did you choose a worm today? Worms always a go-to at a pond. But I wonder who decided this was. What do you call it? 
devil horse. A devil horse? Or something wow. called go devil. It's go a devil. It's a striper plug. Yeah, but it's fitting for what I was going to speak about today because, I mean, if you think about it, when you're out here fishing, uh, you got to have the right bait. And, I mean, you might use um, real worms for bait, Saints. Um, we've got, like, this artificial lure. This, um, what color is this? It's a black sapphire. And he said because the water is kind of murky, use a darker bait. I'm baby like, brush hog. what is it? A baby brush hog. A baby brush hog, huh? So I guess if you toss that out in the water, Saints, um, you know, we're fishing off the bank. And uh, what a gorgeous day. So it's called a, a baby brush hog. And uh, it's really, I mean, it kind of glitters in the sun. It's really pretty. But um, seriously, though, Saints, if you think about it, if you come out here fishing, you got to have a fishing pole. Okay. Well, hold on. I'll show you the fishing pole. Um, this is my pole. What kind of pole is this? A bait caster? What is it? Rod. It's a spinning rod. That's how much I know about fishing. Um, but hey, I catch fish. Um, you know why, Saints? Because I've got the right bait. And Jim just said it earlier. You keep changing the bait up until you either catch a fish or you give up. So if you think about that, Saints, think about that. Okay? I'm going to sit here and fish until I figure out what kind of bait the fish are going to bite today. Satan will do that with us. It might be the, there's a book that John Bevere wrote, um, The Bait of Satan, and he considers it offense. Uh, there's so many baits that the devil uses. Uh, there's even a fishing lure over there called a, a devil bait. Think about it. I mean, that's it's like so crazy if you really think about the bait that he uses it's called temptation um you know what's pretty and shiny to you today uh he might have to change up his lure his um bait tomorrow because you won't bite the same bait uh well unless you just can't ever learn from your history so if you kind of look at your past and your history you'll understand what kind of bait the enemy's using so, if you think about it, saints, when you're fishing, um, the Lord told his disciples he would make them fishers of men. So, if you think about it, um, duh, it's a no-brainer. You might have to use a torpedo or a devil horse or whatever for one fish and... Then if you're bass fishing, depending on the time of the year and the temperature, you might have to use a little fatter fish. Uh, you might have to use a, a look, a little tiny, teeny tiny, a little teeny tiny. Look at how little it is, so little. So it depends on the size of the fish and the type of fish. Look at, look at this little teeny tiny like for a little brim or something looks like a little bug a little hairy bug yeah so depending on uh, what kind of day you're having saints that uh, Satan's got to know the pond he's got to know where he's fishing he's got to know uh, what you're gonna what you're gonna bite so it might be anger today Yay! let me bite that fish it might be lust another day. Um, now think about that. It could be greed another day. So what, what bait is Satan using for you today? Okay, so if you know what bait he's using, I, I thought this one was, this is called the jitterbug. Look at that. I think that's a big spoon. Look at those hooks. I mean, it, they look real to the fish, 
Now think about it, saints. Everything that glitters is not gold. So, um, again, what bait is Satan using on you today? Okay? So if you know he's fishing for you, Jesus told his disciples, come and I'll make you fishers of men. Seriously, the enemy of your soul is going to be fishing for somebody to get a hook in. You do not have to be a victim of Satan's bait today, okay? He's going to use lust or greed or offense or hate or anger or murder or resentment. What about the bait of bitterness? You know, somebody keeps doing you wrong over and over and over again. That root of bitterness sets in. All that is, is a bait. Okay, I don't know if he's using fresh bait, fresh worms that are still crawling, or if he's using something that's dead. You know, a lot of times he'll just bring up old dead stuff, like uh, these plastic lures and these wooden lures, uh, these manufactured lures, like a manufactured perceived offense. Think about it. So... While you're out fishing next time, think about what bait you need to use so you can catch fish. Realize that Satan uses bait. They're called temptations. They're called fleshly. Mm. Oh, well, can you believe the way that he just looked at me? Can you, did you see the way she, did you even hear the way she spoke to me? How dare she? There's the bait. It's up to you, Saint, if you're going to uh, bite or if you're going to be like, uh-uh, I ain't biting today, Satan. So, figure it out, saints. What kind of bait is he using? He's going to change it up every day. Like Jim just said, you keep fishing and changing your bait until you catch something or you give up. So, don't let Satan catch you. He'll give up. He'll go mess with somebody else. Okay? Think about that. What bait is the enemy using on you today? And uh, he's going to come at you tomorrow with a different bait. It might be shiny. It might be pretty. It might be dull. But at any rate, it's going to be something that you like. And it's going to be something that you want. And um, you've got a decision to make if you're going to take the bait or not. So bless you today. Don't let the enemy hook you uh, with any of those sins that do so easily beset us. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Woo! Fishing. Sister with a testimony. To all the peeps out there, don't take the bait. Don't let him hook you, saints. Enjoy the fishing. Go be fishers of men, but don't be the don't be the bait today. You know what I'm saying? Or yeah, seriously, you could be the bait. Uh, you might be the bait that Satan's going to use to mess somebody else up and hook them. So, um, wow, it's a beautiful day. I plead and apply the blood of Jesus over you guys to hide, protect, and keep you while you're fishing for men. Give them the good stuff. Give them some Jesus. That's the only bait we need to be using is the Holy Spirit. He said, if I be lifted up from the earth, I will draw men unto me. So, Holy Spirit, we just ask that you be the only bait that we have, which would be uh, from a heart centered on love and acceptance and forgiveness, um, helping people figure out they need to repent and turn from their wicked ways, that they be taught not to take Satan's bait, which is uh, it's, it's going to be sin, saints. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Fishing on the bank. Sister with a testimony. Later.